Welcome back, everybody, to another edition of Belt Kings Radio Presents Champions. And y'all already know by now, this is number episode seven. And when you think of seven, you got to think about the ladies. But me for me, <laughs> my lady, she always spits seven at me as she's born on January 7th. So, hey, number seven dedicated to my wife and my favorite women's wrestler of all time. Miss Elizabeth. Miss Elizabeth. <laughs> and, and that being said, Corey, we're talking about the WWF slash E Women's mm -hmm. Championship. Corey, again, yep. I am Mike Knox. This is my kicks are my fix. Corey, nephew yep. Corey from the Wrestling Marks of Excellence. Corey, how are you doing on. this morning, sir? I'm fantastic, man. How are you? I'm Episode all right. Seven, man. Yeah, seven. We went seven. <laughs> they said we yeah, couldn't do it. Well, I don't know what they offered. <laughs> Somebody said right. it. <laughs> okay, somebody out there said we couldn't do it, but hey, Corey, I'm right. excited, okay? And yeah. that's why my, my energy the way it is. Excuse my, my intro uh, th this nah, morning. I, I, I love when we get to learn about wrestling. Yeah. And yeah. I get the feedback from you fans out there who tune in. I appreciate you guys tuning in. Y'all can find us at every single podcast network that's available. We are there also on YouTube as well. Just Google Belt Kings. Um, mm -hmm. Corey, I, I'm, I'm excited because... Getting to learn about the women's title that we're going to talk yeah. about today. Yeah, okay. yeah. And just looking over the belt. Because, again, what this show is, 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 is based on, is birthed on, is our love of wrestling titles. As you can mm -hmm. see, my backdrop behind me, it's not that extravagant, but it's what I have. And to, this was what represents us, us, our love for collecting wrestling belts, which forms our connection for wrestling in yep. itself. And when you look at the women's title, Corey, I went back again. Yep. I didn't. I never examined this belt. Not. I'm gonna get me wrong. Mm -hmm. We know who these champions are. We're gonna name them in a right. second. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we've seen the belt, but I don't think I've seen the belt until. Right. Yeah. I, I, yeah. I, I examined this thing, and going back, doing that history, looking at this belt, Corey, I just think it's a beautiful title overall. Your your takes. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No, definitely. Uh... Simple yet effective, and, and you got to figure at that time they were with the women's uh, with the women's roster that they had when they introduced this title. They probably had what probably four active women at this time, so it didn't need to be too much. But you knew it was the women's championship. Simple in design, yet it it made its point. I like it. I do. Yeah, it, it, I like. And again, at this time, you have which to me was just in every championship in every federation. And it was sure. the Globes mm -hmm. that identify the world champion, which to me, I love the most as well. I kind of like the Intercontinental title as well, going back to that mm -hmm. episode uh, where it had, you know, you saw the different continents on it. Right. Um, I, mm -hmm. I, I love certain details in championships. And I love one of my favorite details in a championship, Corey, is when they take mm -hmm. the gold, like I said, from Fort Knox and they crush it. <laughs> I, I, it's something about that simplisticness of, of just gold being mm -hmm. turned into a, Semi trophies, where that belt is, Corey, that I seem mm -hmm. to admire the most. Um, any news how this belt was made? If you get it from WB Shop or, or if you so, get it from wherever you get your belt from, the, the, the thickness of this belt. Let's, let's talk yeah. about this this beautiful bean footage here. <laughs> so, this, um, I believe this belt, when it was introduced in 98, at that time, I do know WWE were, was uh, working with Jamar, I believe, at that time. This, I couldn't find an exact maker of the original one, but I do believe this is a Jamar belt. If you go back to the lineage of who was making belts at that time for WWF, you know, in the late uh, 90s, mm -hmm. it was Jamar, so at least in the beginning. So I do believe this is a Jamar belt. Um, this belt is available uh, on WWE Shop as a replica. Uh, Did they missed a forty percent off sale from last night. As actually, as actually, no, no, no. It's is it still going no, no, on. Look, it's still going on. It goes on through the seventeenth, I believe. So okay. I think, or I think tomorrow is the last day. Okay. And, um, it is so funny. I, I look at your backdrop. They've got that United States Championship on sale for one ninety. Now. Yes, so, they do. Yeah, so it, it's you know, and it, it, there's deals right now. So if you mm -hmm. want to do something, guys, jump on it. You know, if you listen to it th this the day of, <laughs> you know, or maybe if you listen to it before the 17th at 3 a.m., then <laughs> actually, yeah, if I'm not mistaken, yeah, that's right. It ends actually at 12. Uh, no, no, no. It, it ends. Yeah, it ends at 2:59 p.m. Mm -hmm. I mean. 2.59 a.m. June 6th, which means it ends tonight at 3 a.m., basically. Okay. So if you're going to do it. Do it now. 
Well, now's yeah. a good time so, to do it. Right. Yeah. So check your, uh, check your budget. We talked about that last week. Know your budget mm-hmm, and know mm-hmm. what you're, you know, know your worth as they say. <laughs> yep. So this, this, uh, this women's championship in particular is on sale right now for $2.99 uh, US dollar. So $2.99.99. Mm-hmm. Specs on it. Uh, I do believe the replica that they have of this is a four millimeter because it's the newer one. Mm-hmm. It is. It's actually five millimeter. <laughs> and it, cur- and it, cur- it has the curve in it, right? That yep. we talked about this yep. also sure important does. today from yesteryear mm-hmm. builds. Yep, sure does. And just reading off the specs from WWE shop, uh, it is uh, four pounds. Uh, it is the main plate is ten inches by seven point seven and a quarter. So the width is 10, so this way 10 inches, height seven inches, which makes sense because it's a women's championship. You don't need it too big. Uh, the side plates are five and a quarter by three and three quarters. Mm-hmm. So nice, and, nice. Yeah, so actually, and, and you know what's funny? This, yeah, this, you, you know what? I'm not even kidding you. <laughs> I'm looking at it and yeah, I'm you, like, you, you're about to, you're uh, about to know that budget. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's that's what I'm kind of saying. I, I looked at it yesterday, and but I told you what I have in mind for myself, mm-hmm. and we'll talk about that later in the show as well. I have, I've looked into that, and, and it's possible. I just gotta know if I trust mm-hmm. the person where it's gonna come from being made as mm-hmm. a custom. So, mm-hmm. but, but go ahead. I, I'm definitely yeah, interested no. in this belt. Like I said, when I went to go stay this belt, Corey, again, it just happens to be, you go look at these things, you'd be like, mm-hmm. man, did you think about who had them? And yes. we had some yep. great you gals, sure women, mm-hmm. respectively, out there that had them. Not divas. This ain't the divas championship. And no offense during that, during that era whatsoever. Okay. Yeah, we're going to talk about that belt. That, that's we what are. it's going to happen. Hey, one of my daughter's favorite belts. Simple as that. Mm-hmm. Okay. It was, a, it was a beautiful butterfly, like Mariah Carey. It's what you got. Okay. <laughs> so, but no, I, I absolutely do love the craftsmanship of this belt, Corey. It's absolutely, something yeah. the, the, the way the, the, the outline, I'm not sure what is that. Uh, just for me, is that a dragon tail? <laughs> Look, that, you know what? You know, I was wondering, <laughs> I was like, is it barbed wire or what? I don't know what it is. So weird, and it's so weird to say barbed wire because you're kind of looking at it though. And you're, it, it, it could, it, it, it's, yeah. You don't know what I don't know what it is, but it's not bad. No. It's, so yeah, no, absolutely. And, and then, it's different. I've never seen. I don't think it's ever been even been you reused that pattern yeah. on the title. No, and then the, the the small subtlety on the side plates with your globe mm-hmm. for out named the women's world championship. It's mm-hmm. the women championship yeah. so it's it, it, it was that belt and, and that belt looked different from all the other belt because i think if i'm not mistaken that was your only i think in, in that era and mm-hmm. i'm thinking now and i think that's right up until they bought wcw and got the big goal that was their only three plate three plate belt that they were using oh at that time okay okay mm-hmm. now, was I the women's do, championship. now i did come across the different renditions of this title too cool yeah Okay, yeah, which, which I, I didn't mm-hmm. even know, and it was a very, it was a subtle change that I don't think you really, mm-hmm. maybe you did, I didn't pay attention to until I again did my research on this show, and that rendition mm-hmm. of this side, the reason why we won't do a show for that belt, because it, it really is a lot, and, you know, similar, and the original mm-hmm. from 98, but when uh, uh, Layla had it last, it mm-hmm. changed at that point, uh, the mm-hmm. design of this belt. Uh, still similar. It's just some slight design. You want to talk about the slight differences in that design, Corey? Well, the number one is probably uh, number one thing, instance is probably the nameplate for one, because the, the you and it was so weird, not weird, but it was like you weren't getting nameplates at that time. I know they changed the WWE on it. What else did you see? Let me ask you. That. Well, the the biggest for me was the nameplate. Yeah, for me mm-hmm. was the nameplate, and then. Um, the way women's and mm-hmm. champion yeah. is different. Yep, yep. Because of the nameplate, you got to make space for it. Right. And so they and- shortened up the champion part, mm-hmm. which I'm not sure if I like that about it necessarily, but it's not a big deal for me as a collector not to get. Yeah, yeah. And it's interesting because they, because it, there are some people who have both versions of this. Mm-hmm. They were making, re- oh, and speaking of that, I did come across, it was all, somebody had already bought it. Mm-hmm. It's a, into a show two weeks ago. 
I did find somebody with a Figures Incorporated WCW World Tag Team Championship. Oh. The one talked about on the show. Okay. Sold it, but I'm and which I'm glad they did because I probably would have pulled the trigger on it. And <laughs> I saw it um, just because it, 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 w, like it's so weird. I know we're sidebarring, but it, we can do that. It's our show. Yeah. Um, <laughs> the it was so weird. Like those WCW Figures Incorporated belts. Mm-hmm. That were not the WWE ones, but they were the WCW ones at that time when mm-hmm. WCW was using them. And they're so hard to find now. Like they just like if you, which is why I'm glad I didn't see the person they had it for sale. Okay. For sale, because I probably would. How sold. much was it going for? I want to say they might have sold it for about four hundred. Okay, not bad. Not bad. No, it's not. No. no, and if you if you know your belts, if you're finding a fig, an early figures incorporated belt around yeah. that price, it's in a good condition. It's yeah, a that's good. that's a really good deal because they probably yeah. paid that. That's probably what they paid for it. No, they paid less <laughs> for that at that time. They paid less. They probably paid about two fifty for that max. Okay. Remember those belts back then. I'm you, thinking those See, belts. At, those, at, mm-hmm. at the time, my most expensive belt was my undisputed title when it came out, and then yeah, and you probably the paid what the four? Yeah, I paid four, and mm-hmm. that was that the million dollar man title, which was five. Mm-hmm. For that mm-hmm. at that time, and who could who it could have been a thousand, I probably would have paid for it. Um, <laughs> just being honest. Um, so and then I mean, I did, I remember getting my US title that you see behind me, it was mm-hmm. 175. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like 175 dollars. So at those you're right. times, yeah, yeah, belts were it depend on the title that mm-hmm. you know, you know, that was and that's so funny because that you price. have you have that you have the million dollar version one, which mm-hmm. so many people complained about, but now it's, it's a record. It's a yeah. horrible title, Corey. I, yeah, we'll I, see. I, I love it. The way that it was put together, those, so those clamps that keeps the dollar yeah. together. And if you take it out in public and you bend it, 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 it so how it have the, the lock would go through. You can't see mm-hmm. this on, on, on radio. So it's like a lock that goes through a hole. Well, imagine that yeah. hole getting pulled apart when you open and close the title. So yep. that lock, the circle lock into the hole would pull and pop the lock. I had to yeah. really put... Um, what do you call it? You go like automotive store and get like the tie mm-hmm. strap. Kind of like the police use the hand to like not use hands. Yeah, the, the, the tie yeah. your hands up. Is what I had to use the zip ties to put my belt together. Yeah. And, and it's that's why so I because... never bring it out no more. It's never shown. It's just, it's, it's, it's mine. It's it, when I put yeah. it in a glass, that's all you're going to get from it. Cause it's, and, and, and I don't want to buy another one. And that has all this. <laughs> Cause I got, oh, hold, on, hold on. I got, I got million dollar man signed it. I got Virgil signed it. You know, mm-hmm. I said, I bring it out for stone cold. You know, Matt Max mm-hmm. Austin did, didn't sign it, but but I need to get his son. Those two and them, and then they never come out again. Yeah, see, for that, and that's so funny because you have the version one, I have the version two, mm-hmm. which is made differently. Okay, what's the differences in that? So and we're talking they, about a belt that we're going to talk about again one time on the show anyway. Right. But it's okay. <laughs> this is still dedicated to you, ladies. But we sidebar. <laughs> we're going back to it in a second. So that belt, the 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 main thing you talked about the the clamps and the locks on the yeah. on the signs those are different it's actually molded into it now mm-hmm. and you can all you have to do is just screw each one off for the links you want to take off boo i'm it's almost i am yeah, so mad <laughs> because it's almost and this is not and this is no shot to mike knox but they actually made the belt longer it's like a 50 something inch yes belt. and it is a very shorter title the one i have it's definitely not yeah. going around you know it went around my wife's waist <laughs> yeah, we'll see that. the one. We'll see. They made that one. They what, what's funny. They made that first version, and it's so funny because we're still going to talk about this belt in the future. So, but they made that belt closer to what they tailor made for the Million Dollar Man. I yeah. think it was his waist measurements that they used yeah. for that. I think it's got to be like a thirty-six. It's like a thirty-four, or thirty-six. Something like that. I mean. it's, it's it's something like that. So you, you smaller cats mm-hmm. could could really enjoy that. <laughs> I'm just being honest. But this women's championship, like I said, is on sale mm-hmm. right now, forty percent off, guys. If you're listening live in the next, you know, nine hours on this show, it'll be up on all your podcast mm-hmm. networks by twelve noon is today. But uh, get it now. If not, if you don't get it now, hey, look at it. I, I again, this is a title is going to get in my collection. It's going to get in my collection mm-hmm. even more because and and, and pairing off, and I'm going to start it right there. Favorite champions to ever hold his title. They're not my favorite champions per se, but when Lay Cool got together mm-hmm. and they took this title, and we talked about this off air, and they made it like the best friends approaches, that was the greatest thing to me. Now we see it also being shown now on the bump 
on WWE, their, their, stage, their show they had where I saw it and I just went ballistic. I called you, I called Mo, I just went, mm -hmm. I went crazy <laughs> and, I, and I can't find this title. But then I, some guy says, you know, and this is where I love this fucking show and I want people who are listening to the show to be careful. Since we have created Belt Kings, the, the Instagram page, and, I have, and we started being more productive on the page, I get mm -hmm. a lot of belt people, custom co guys coming out of the woodwork willing to do a, you know, make a title for me. And I mm -hmm. have a couple friends that have used some of these people, uh, social media network friends. I don't want to say nobody's name, but I want you to be very careful because there are titles that you are getting that you want to be custom made. You want to bite your price. You don't want to hit, go over your budget. There are not very good titles. And I say that not mm -hmm. to say anything to you. You didn't know. And nothing to the maker for trying to create something. But mm -hmm. I'm a collector. It's like, I'm not going to go go to Cowtown for those who are in the East Coast in Philadelphia to go buy a pair of Jordans when I can go to Foot Locker. Cowtown mm -hmm. is not going to have a pair of Jordans for $50. It's just not, they're not going to be real. Okay? So right. sometimes you have to know your worth of what you're getting. All right? So yeah. be careful. If you cannot completely customize your belt, Hear me out. Correct me if I'm wrong, Corey. That means mm -hmm. if you can't replace your studs, if you can't mm -hmm. replace the strap, if you can't replace the stones on that title from that person, it's not a good buy. Because they yeah, sell accessories for a reason, Corey. Yeah, there's there's some instances where pretty much they you can get it cut. You basically what you want to do when you're getting these custom belts, because there are there are a lot of good makers out there who make they are. They are. And these are, and see, you, what you want to do, because a lot of people just, you know, they don't have the money or they, they don't have the time. Mm -hmm. So, or, well, one, because Reggie Parks is already retired, I believe. <laughs> yeah. So you can't even buy an authentic Reggie Parks from him anymore anyway. Um, from what I, I hear around, you know, around the, the, the social media is he's so backed up. He's years and years yeah. up that it's probably not even worth you even doing it. Um, pretty much now, I mean, you can go to a lot of these custom people and, and they make their belts. You want to be able to, you're gonna, if you're going to get a design, let's, oh, like a winged eagle, for, for instance, mm -hmm. you want to be able to choose, you know, what type of, like some people, you know, you can get standard leather, you can get a real fine leather, you can get, you can get the different colors. You want to be able to at least know what you're getting. Some people already have belts that are already made and they right. just, you know, but, Anytime I've done a custom, it's taken like two two months or so for me to get it. Okay. It's, that's just, you know, they're making it from scratch. They're yeah. literally making it from order. And that's not to say because some people, some places that do make good belts, they already have them on hand, mm -hmm. which is totally mm -hmm. fine. The custom belts, when I've got them before, they were not on hand. I had to get it made. So Now, Bill King, blind tag, what, do you, what would you say about the, comm the commemorative titles? Because you have... And I say this because mm -hmm. there's a difference in collecting in your home, mm -hmm. right? Then collecting mm -hmm. to take out in public and show. The commemoratives, I'll put it this way. Um, it all leans back to what you were saying. Know your budget. Okay. Mm -hmm. Commemoratives, and I'm not even kidding you, unless somebody actually shows you the back of it or yeah. you, you hold it. You kind of don't know. Don't, you don't know off of glance. You don't know. Because they pretty they use all the same things. Yeah. They use same materials it's the same strap it's the same everything it's just they use that it's, it's thinner yeah it's well not the strap because they use the same strap they use on the replicas pretty much okay I, I didn't know that i don't have one so the, the yeah no because i've seen it okay right so i'm asking that's why i asked why yeah, I it there's, a mm -hmm. there's, there's, there's people budgets you know what i mean and there's yeah. there's like for instance i i really want the tag team belts that nobody likes the big penny belts Right, I love those titles. I, honestly, okay? I, I, would, I love if them. I were you, if and I were I, you, Mike, I saw the I, I Yeah, because I want those for my wife and I. I'm gonna place them above our bed, king and queen, and, and those two titles. That's what they are. You know what I mean? Not so I'm, I'm not putting anybody down for those things. I just want you to educate you guys mm -hmm. on the differences between having a community, yeah. having that one, and having a custom versus having one from a manufacturer. And I also want to know because I see a lot of AEW titles out there now. All right, and I'm yeah. like, well, AEW hasn't dropped this belt yet. Yeah, those so, are all all AEW so ones all that are, out there are customs, right? Mm -hmm. So it all depends on who you get it from because there are some that are really bad that I've seen, mm -hmm. and some that 
will probably be better than whenever AEW even drops a wow. record. So I've seen some bad ones that look like straight plastic yeah. is the metal. And I'm like, oh, come on, my brother. But the women, the women's <laughs> championship. Yeah. How yeah, great this, that. that's how great this title was, Corey. How great this mm-hmm. belt was that only lasted for roughly 10 years. Yeah. 1998 to 2010. Yeah. Yeah. yeah about 2010. Year, about an 11 year run. Yeah. First person with this title. Now, we're not talking about the women's championship that we know. I'm not afraid to say her name, the fabulous Mula had, okay? Mm-hmm. That she wore, right. being the first woman champion and being the longest women's wrestling champion, whatever there is, right? But then mm-hmm. Lundra Blaze had a title of a women's championship, but then they introduced when they had the attitude era going on and what was happening mm-hmm. in wrestling, especially after Lundra Blaze dropped the women's wrestling mm-hmm. championship in the trash. That changed yep. the perspective. There was no way in hell yep. Vince could use that belt again. So from that, yeah. you have Miss Jacqueline. Miss Jackie, we mm-hmm. let her on the call around. Friend of the program. How you doing, Miss Jackie? Wonderful lady. Got to get this belt. And she defeated America's new attraction, obsession. Mm-hmm. Okay, it wasn't Baywatch. Okay, it was Sable. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yep. Takes this title from her on Raw is War back in 1998. And yep. then her and Sable will have battle back and forth for this title for the next few months. But some mm-hmm. of your best women's champions of this said rendition title, Corey. Uh, Is it too early to give me your, your Mount look, Rush, your Mrs. Are we Moore? Mount Rushmore in it now? Are we Mount okay. Rushmore in it now? Because I yeah, say if you Mount Rushmore it now, it's going to be the same thing we get every week. One, two, three. <laughs> and, gosh, and, darn it, I, and that fourth one. But go yeah. ahead. Give me, give me your Mount Rushmore for this title. Trish. Lita. Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, <laughs> and, and then honestly, I think that's where you, I think for once it's two and the other two are going to be interchangeable. I want to hear yours. I, I, uh, Mickey James. Oh, nice. Can't, can't Mickey argue. James. Can't argue. And then the fourth, that's when you're like, uh, because do you go Victoria? Mm-hmm. Do you go Holly Holly? Mm-hmm. You still ain't said the one I'm waiting for you to say. Who really, <laughs> me, she's, she's right there with Trish and Lita for me. She's right there with Trish and Lita. I'm gonna let you say it. I'm Melina. gonna let you say it. Melina. You see, okay. Melina. Okay. To me, it's the, see, to me she is the greatest of this belt champion of all time. Is Melina. Because because who because you're leaving it's funny because they may be on your list, but I might have to steal it. I'm gonna say it now. The other person that could possibly be the fourth is the only one out of that whole era realistically of the later ones. That's a Hall of Famer, and that's Beth Phoenix. See. I'm going to make the part. I'm going I'm to I'm take that pot like some good old gumbo down there in New Orleans. <laughs> and I'm going to stir that thing up because I'm going to say it like this. Stephanie McMahon Helmsley. That's, you know what? That's a, I'm sorry. <laughs> you know, I, you know why I can't be mad at that? Because people, you have to look at wrestling. Cause like, like you always say, you know, it's your phrase wrestling, the storyline. You have to look at what she was doing at that time, holding that belt. It, 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 not necessarily about the defenses or anything like that. Yeah. Her storyline with the women's championship was classic. It, yeah, and, and to where <laughs> it made it a big deal. It's arguably, it, to me, the greatest women's storyline in wrestling history, to be honest. But when Lita time. beat her for it, it, it was made a big deal. It's like, <laughs> On the outside, somebody would be like, well, she only beat seven men. <laughs> right, 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 right. But the storyline going in with it, you were like, whoa, like, Lita beating uh, beating her, I want to say that was 2000. Yeah, that Lita ends up becoming women's champion. You're like, whoa, where did that get? And I, I got to look and see. That might have main event at Raw that, that it year. It did. It was during the first ever women's main event on Raw, 19, in 2000, August 21st. You know, us Leos. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, August 21st. <laughs> look, I got the stats now, baby. I'm cheating, yo. You go off, you go off dome like Jay-Z in them. I got to read it. So, <laughs> go ahead. But I already had it up and propped and ready. Because it, it, to me, it was Stephanie McMahon. And, yeah. and, and I think because of that right there, um, you have Lita and Trish. I mean, let's just. The staple of it, okay? Yeah, that, it, it, yeah. They're the staple you, of you it. You can't even. Do you might as well just cut, cut it right it. there because <laughs> they're and, already on it. And, and I think this list is really a dope list. I think out of mm-hmm. all, like we look at the later years of certain titles, right? Like Francis Dean or kind of the title mm-hmm. going back, um, episode three and four. Mm-hmm. Okay, um, you can see there were champions you couldn't question. 
-hmm. With this one, you can question Stephanie, but like you just said, wrestling is storyline. You, you can't question some of the other girls to me. You can't mm -hmm. question Ivory. If you right. want to keep it real, the greatest women's wrestler of all time is China. We just don't let her be that because she's yeah. who she was. She's bigger than the women to me. So that's why yeah. I know why, you know, taking nothing from China, may she rest in peace. She is the coup de gras of women's wrestling because she was a she could beat men. OK, yeah. like a Beth Phoenix, taking nothing mm -hmm. from Beth Phoenix at all as well. But uh, it just to me, it's the hardest is because jazz worthy. That's why that was the one I was about to say. So worthy. She, when it gets it's lost jazz. in the shuffle. She yeah. gets lost in the shuffle because you're like, she, all her runs were in between that era of Trish and Lita that you were just, Trish and Lita were so head, head up fields above the rest of the division. Mm -hmm. Except Jazz, because Jazz was getting W's on them like it was nothing. And she was. She was, and I don't think people remember that, how, how dominant yep. Jazz was she over was. the women's it, division. Yeah. It didn't matter. She was beating them all. Yep. And it's just, she just, unfortunately, she had such a short run. Mm -hmm. and company, you were kind of like, it gets lost in the shuffle. But her, like I said earlier, Molly Holly, Victoria, all, that whole, that, that, that era right before they introduced the Divas era, which, if I'm not mistaken, Divas was, who was the first Divas champion? Was that Michelle McCoy? First Divas champion, I think, I think it's still think Layla. It's, it's still Layla. Is it Layla or yeah, Layla, 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 I think Layla transformed into it, yeah. I mean, I, I had to look For it up. The, I'm looking at what I'm on yeah. right now. And, and you know what? Just, I'm just, sorry, because we're talking changed. about women. Right. We're talking about women. I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to look at it because I think, I feel like Michelle McCool. Yep, yeah, Michelle McCool. It was the Michelle, she, she, so she beat, she beat Layla. I think she beat Natalia. No, I think she beat Natalia in the finals of that. I think she beat Natalia. I really yeah. That let a me, tournament for this? I don't remember the tournament for yeah, this. Yeah, they let me see. Let me see. The women's championship, the inaugural champion, Michelle McCool. Yeah. I, Candace I, Michelle mm -hmm. had this belt for 105 days. You know what? She had a de for what it's worth, they gave her a decent run. I remember that. I, re I remember her run because I remember saying that was the first time that you could look at women's wrestling in this era. And, and it go, started to change. And it started to change, right. It started to mm -hmm. take that shift to the prettier side. And listen, and I got to be very careful when I tread my line here because I always love women's wrestling and Divas Championship as well. Okay, so when I say mm -hmm. that, it's just like the tone of wrestling changed from – you, you introduced the Bella Twins kind of stuff. And, and I looked over this title, too. What shocked me, what angered mm -hmm. me, was that mm -hmm. one of my favorite women's wrestlers of all time, okay, and, mm -hmm. and, and Stacey Keebler never had this belt. You know what, though? I was, I was very like, mad at that. They never committed Stacey to a... I don't a, get that. that, that kind they of, that they never of, committed her to a wrestling run. Because I, I'm not mistaken, her and, to, her and Tori Wilson were never women's champions. No. Yeah, I didn't and, get that. And, and like I said earlier, it was Michelle McCool over Natalia, Great American Bash 2000. Mm -hmm. Great in, American Bash. And that's our Coliseum. That's when they first brought the Great American Bash back. Ask me how I know, Corey, because on the cover of SmackDown Magazine was Tori Wilson. And inside, Pitbull. in the middle. Hold on, my wrong. Mm -hmm. I'm going on a rant for nothing. Yeah, yeah you're going on your rant for nothing because sure. Great American had been, had been back already since like 04. So this one was. What's that one? Okay, right. This, so that was the wrong one. I'm in the wrong year. It's all right. Wait to pull the plug. Just like, just like a band aid. Just, just, like, just like a band it, 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 It's easier when you just rip it off completely. Yeah, that's of how you got to do it. Why, why is it there? <laughs> it, it does nothing for no one. Ah, Kelly Clarkson. I, I see, I've seen 40 year old version, okay? Just better just go ahead and get the process over with. But you know what? Because I don't think she also gets enough credit with this title. Mm -hmm. Having this title is someone by the name of Sable. We talked about her briefly. Let's yeah. get back to Sable. Because yeah. she was, mm -hmm. if you can think of what the Attitude Era was, yeah. she was mm -hmm. the women's Attitude Era blown up. Yeah, Cover Absolutely. of, of Absolutely. Playboy magazine. Cover of TV Guide magazine. She was, she was, dare I say, and not comparing as far as looks or anything, but I'm talking about as far as people who, I want to make sure they have Rock, Stone, Cold, Sable. 
it, 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 Undertaker. Efficiency, <laughs> efficiency to the 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 women of WWF mm-hmm. was she was essentially Sunny to the tenth power, and I mean in the sense of Sunny was. Huge. Yes, very big. She's yeah. she she was my excuse me. I'm not embarrassed by this from what she you know. I that was my first real crush outside of Miss mm-hmm. Elizabeth was Sunny. Mm-hmm. It, 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 it was and, and what you said about Sable. Sable definitely she took that. She ran with it. They let her run with it. Like I said, if you look she at did. that time in the Attitude Era, when like I said, said you had Rock, you had Stone Cold, you had you had uh, 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 Undertaker. You had okay, any kind, any you kind had of Sabre. marketing. She any was kind just of as marketing all of them time? in marketing. Yes, just in simple, like even like posters, just little rinky dink posters around, or advertisements for shows coming to the area or something. Like you just mentioned, you had Rock, you had Stone Cold, you had Taker, you had Sable on the poster. Sable was you had you had to have her on shows. You had to. Never got the chance to. My wife did. Mm-hmm. I'm, I know you did, so I'm just going to assume it. Was she <laughs> plastered all over WWE New York? Oh, yeah. Are you kidding? Yeah, Are I, you? Knew. I knew you went there. I knew you been. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I oh, never yeah. got a chance to go. Oh, My yeah. wife went and brought me back a Stone Cold Steve Austin and Beanie Baby, which I still have in the case. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, right. that, 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 it, 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 New York is just New York, so you knew it yeah. when you but it was. <laughs> I thought it was. At least it last long enough for me to get there. <laughs> you know what? The, the one I kind of regret that I never got the chance to go to was the uh, was the Niagara Falls store. Yeah, I heard about that one. Yeah, because that, that was one. also really good too. Yeah. But nonetheless, yeah. Anytime you had anything at that time with WWF from '98 through, you know, I mean, from pretty much from '97 through '98 through '99, uh, early '99, that is, you had Sable on you everywhere. She was just everywhere, and you, and that was smart of them to do because the demographic you were you were catering to, they wanted to see her. Just that simple. So yeah, no, she definitely because a bunch she, of horny teenage and yeah, young adults. <laughs> remember December, January, March, April. She had a six month run with she the belt. Would say well, one hundred seventy five days. Yes, yeah, so it's pretty much six months. Yeah, I mean, one hundred and seventy five days which is insane at this time in wrestling, to be honest, yeah. honest with you. Followed by Stephanie, which was 156. Mm-hmm. She had a good run. Um, again, so Melina, 64 days her longest run. She's had it twice. She had it once for 64, uh, one for 61 days. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, she had a couple of Divas runs in there, too. De- de- right, I mean, definitely so a couple of Divas runs. Right, falters and, into that championship mm-hmm. with the belt. Um, is there anybody you would did you think is missing? Because as we're talking about this title, I, I just think about women again that I said during this time how everybody was over, right? So mm-hmm. Ivory was over, right? The censor Ivory and the other Ivory was champion yeah, of women's yeah. champion. She was she was champion of the two gimmicks. <laughs> right. Two different gimmicks. Then you had Molly Holly champion, and then she became Diva Champion later on as 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 uh Help me out with Molly. She's a superhero, Molly Holly. Well, well, I mean, Mighty Molly. Mighty Molly, duh. Like Mighty yeah. Mouse, mm-hmm. right? And then, so, just looking at these women, do you have, I feel like we're missing somebody. We got Ivory. We got um, uh, uh, Gail Kim. Yeah. She won her on her first night. Am did, I, she, did she do a... I think she won Did she do a... I think she won that on her first night, dog. Wow. I think she won that on her first night, dog. The company... She won that. Cha- yeah, because it, yeah, I'm looking now. Yep. This was a seven women battle royal involving, yeah. including Trish Jacqueline Stratus, Miles. Ivory, yeah. Jacqueline, Victoria, Molly Holly. Mm-hmm. Wow. The match was w- was Gail Kim's WWE debut. It was. And then they had her lose it less than a month later to Molly Holly mm-hmm. uh, on Raw. This is when I miss titles, honestly, changing hands on television sometimes. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean, without it being the pay per view, like I, I, I missed that. Right. And, and that in those days, <laughs> you, you got this a lot. But mm-hmm. when you again, when you're talking about this title, you got to start at the cream of the crop and at the top. So who yeah. is it? Is, is it fair? I say Trish Stratus. It is. I, I say it's without. I say without. I say it's without, say, say it's without <laughs> question. And mm-hmm. here's one of the reasons for me, Corey, and I want to hear from mm-hmm. you because I know you're mm-hmm. a huge Trish Stratus guy. Yeah. Yeah. I fell in love with Trish not because of how aesthetically pleasing she was. And we yeah. know that. 
okay? Mm -hmm. I fell in love with Trish because to me, she was the true representation of a women's wrestler in this business at this time who was mm -hmm. brought in to be a valet, yeah. not to really wrestle, be a pretty mm -hmm. face in the back, draw attention from the guys to the heat to the guys that they're trying to get over and test and Albert and those guys with the high heels she used mm -hmm. to wear to make her look taller with the trench coat on <laughs> to Mr. McMahon's concubine mm -hmm. to training and getting better. And this is why I'm a big fan of Nikki Bella. Because to me, Nikki Bella and Trish Stratus are, if we're talking about overall women, I'm putting them in, in my, for me, they're one, yeah. two with, with, with Charlie mm -hmm. Flair and I, and I name a fourth one to be later. Okay, because to me, that's it's, it's Nikki Bella and it's Trish Stratus. But then I say would be Lena. Mm -hmm. So that'd be my Mount Rushmore for women altogether, right? I mm -hmm. said it. Okay, but she transitioned herself so well and to, yeah. and to garner our respects from when we made fun of her. Yeah. Everything I just said, we knew about. We made, oh, Trish Stratus, oh, mm -hmm. come on, she's gonna wrestle. Then you said, oh, oh, she's improving. Yeah, because they would have her in matches. They would have her in matches, right? And you, mm -hmm. you saw steady improvements of her getting better and better and better. And then she just finally just exploded and owned the women's division, Corey. Yeah, yeah and, you, and you're pretty much naming the same reason. She, uh, her tr she had a true transition from somebody who was really only brought in to look good. And it was right. right. She reminds me, similar path in a sense, she reminds me of his that Miz was never really supposed to really be anything other than, you the know. SmackDown I, and MC. Yeah, the host. Yeah, he was. SmackDown. Yeah, I mean, he he was training to wrestle, but nobody was giving him the benefit of the doubt to become who he is now. You can't think of WWE without thinking of him. He is, he is their go-to guy now. And that Trish became when you lost your Sables, your Sunnies, China was gone. Mm -hmm. That helped, I think. Not saying that she wouldn't have been able to eventually succeed. Right. That door opened when China left the company. Absolutely. Because they pretty much hit the reset on the they women. Did. They did. They, they completely hit the reset button. Yeah, because she was going – because they were – at this point, when China had got the women's championship, everything was going to be built around her. Yeah. Everything. But then, you know, she left the company, and then the, the belt went pretty much in advance, and it was gone – for what that she left in what maybe May, so June, July, August, September. So so the belt was gone for almost six months. Mm. Up until when they did Survivor Series yeah, on April that's until when, November. Yep. Yeah, Survivor so Series. that's when yeah, so that's when Trish got it. And she was somebody based on that match. You look at the people that was in that match. Too. I'm looking at it. Leah yeah. Jacqueline, Ivory, Molly Holly, Jazz. <laughs> yeah. Trish wasn't somebody you were expecting to come out of that, that as the winner. And when she did, you were like, okay, I see where they're going. Mm -hmm. Slowly but surely, Trish starts getting W's and Jazz gets it. Then for the next couple of months between Victoria, you had Victoria, you had Jazz, you had Lee. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you had, you it had. Hot, it was quality. definitely hot sided. Yeah, you had quality women on the roster that could go. Excuse me. So you pretty much. With that championship, you're reestablishing the women's division to where now you make it credible. You make it uh, that it's getting quality time. And think of it this way. You had times where, what is it, when Alundra Blaze threw that, that was, what, 95? What, it, when she... It, the, the, when she threw the belt away. That was, was 90, 90, 90... That was 95. Yeah, yeah 95. Yeah. She, I think it was yeah, November 95. or December of 95. Yeah, October. Throws the belt away. Well, yeah, it happened in December on, on December. WWE Nitro. Yep. Yeah. And I yeah, just she, Georgia. Yeah, and the only reason why I remember that for sure because she was just the women's champion when Survivor Series was here in D.C. Okay. in 95. She was the women's champion. And the next month, she threw it away. So the belt went away for three years. The women's championship has not gone away since it's been back in 98. Yeah. It's, and, it's been elevated ever since. Yeah, because you remember in the late 80s, early 90s, you had women's champions going around, but it, it always, it's like it went away, it came back, it went away, it came back. It's like it was around in 89 and it went away and you didn't have a women's champion again until like 94. <laughs> you know? when, when she took the belt out the trash, how did that make you feel? Oh, at the Hall of Fame? Yeah. That was great. And because I was like, that was good that WWE, not sense of humor, but yeah. they're, you know, they're able to understand because to me, and, and I don't really know, 
I don't think it's something she would have ever done on her own. I think she was told to do it. To she, take out the trash? Okay. Or throw no, the not belt take the out trash. the trash. Throw, 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 throw oh, yeah. Well, no, I think place. Eric Bitchoff come out and said, oh, you got the belt? Oh, I got an idea for it. And I think that, yeah. you know, you know, it, 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 it was a heck of a move. Yeah, it was a heck that, of a move. and That was a big power play. It was man. a very big power play. and But, again, it launched what we got for the next 11 years. And that's what I, and that's what, and that's what's so funny because how things work backwards like that is that eventually WWE's women's division is cream of the crop. It's like WCW never did anything with her. The, no, nothing. They never did. It's nothing like they never, they, you, you would think that would have been the, the, but I thought she, I think she, didn't she get hurt shortly after she may over? have, and she may have, but it's like, the women's division was such a flop over there. One, because they didn't have any women, so they were relying on everybody coming from Japan. Mm -hmm. to over that, that didn't help. It didn't sell with us in that. In yeah, that because you didn't, you had no women on this side, right? That we knew they, from, yeah, from you, territories and things like that. Yeah, right. you you never took a WCW Women's Championship seriously. Never, it never was prominently featured. So, so, is that fair to say there won't be a belt like that we'll talk about on this show? <laughs> You know what's funny? Oh, did, did they even have a championship? Yeah, yes, they did. They did. Okay, they did so have a championship. World War One, World War One, find that belt out. Comment below you, and let us know. You know, it actually. Go. No, you can Google that. That belt was actually a nice looking belt. I oh, looked that up. <laughs> it looked too much like a men's championship. I will say that it looked. It almost looked like one of the old WWF World Championships. Almost as you know, as we sit here and we, and we think and we talk and you. Mm -hmm. I think I may have prejudged and jumped it. I'm a big Molina fan. I, I can't necessarily mm -hmm. say as I continue to talk about this show and look at the list and things that are going on that mm -hmm. she's my Mount Rushmore for women's championships. That again, yeah, I think people understand you got you, you have to have your favorites and you got to be what we're talking about and like what they are and who they represented. The reason why you, you have to put the Miz in such high qualities as you did. Yep. It's not about yep. whether you like somebody or not. It's about what they've done for the business. And I love yep. Molina. I, I loved her in Eminem. I, I loved her. Listen, to me, she, to this day, to this day, oh, she's really, <laughs> to this day, she's, really she's still got the greatest interest in professional women's history to me. To do the split and then go, for, you can, the pigeons out all you want to with, with, with Velvet <laughs> Sky and all them. No, 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 no. Molina's entrance was the greatest entrance in wrestling history. <laughs> okay. But it, again, it made me think because. Michelle McCool, Lay Cool, that title run should never be unquestioned how great that was. Mm -hmm. But I think you're right and dead on, dead on when you say you got to go Trish Stratus, you got to go Lita, who we'll talk about her in a second. Because Lita was the – she was the one we all knew from the beginning could do it when we saw her at S.A. Rios. Yeah. Right? We, mm -hmm. we saw the moon saw was like, I'm sorry, what what she just do? Right. We saw the hardcore <laughs> run. I said, I'm sorry, that's a girl with fiery yeah. red hair? And let's, let's keep it in perspective now. We're talking about the, the late 90s. Yo, dog, you see that girl on TV had her thong out? That's yeah. all you knew! Yeah. This girl could wrestle, and she had a thong showing. End the yeah. story. <laughs> Lita was instantly over. They paired with the Hardy Boys. They got tag team yeah, belts. Was... She got women's title. It was Team Extreme was, yeah, that was huge. Yeah. yeah, that was a smart business play, whoever put her with them. <laughs> That was smart. It worked. I think Essie Rios got hurt. <laughs> yeah, and it, and it, it never and they had to put back. her somewhere. And she was actually, they were kind of the perfect fit because they were doing at that time, which was, you know, you look back now, like to me, when the Scott Stein was the first one I ever seen to do anything dangerous in the wrestling ring. When I saw the Frankenstein mm -hmm. from a dude that big jumped, so he threw him against the yeah. ropes and he, what are you doing? You know what I'm saying? But first, so when you right. saw the Hardy Boys flipping off of the top ropes and doing corkscrew spins and stuff, yeah. you didn't get that very often. There was very, very yeah, few didn't. people who did that in, in the states, mm -hmm. right? So right. leaders can do that right. coming from Lucha, you know, the Lucha, um, the Lucha, Lucha. She came from AAA. Thank you. Yes, <laughs> you are. <well. laughs> uh, style of wrestling. It helped. The, it helped the cause. Um, but I say this: I've never been the biggest leader fan. Because God you know went what? so I go Google over her. I just couldn't. It was like I, I was saying. I, I thought she was great, but I never I'm say I'm with you. I never was, I wasn't going like, oh, leaders on. Like it was like, okay, I didn't have nothing against her, but it was right. like, hey, leaders on. All right. Like I was never, I was always Trish before yeah, leader. Yeah, and I think that's why I wasn't Trish. Because I mean, mm -hmm. why I wasn't Lita? Because I was so Trish. 
I couldn't mm -hmm. be leader. Like when you're a wrestling fan, guys, you you understand when you're a true mark of wrestling, okay? Mm -hmm. Like the wrestling marks of excellence. Hashtag end the story. Your uncle came up with that. I just stole it from him. That's like the greatest line to me ever in wrestling history. End the story. When you want to end an argument, hashtag end the story. Okay. <laughs> Shout out to Dr. D in the firm. Okay. That is my man's hundred grand. But when you I just couldn't like her because of that. It was like, there's Trish. Yeah. Ah, can't like you, Lita. Sorry. Yeah. You're, 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 oh, yeah. No, I mean, it's the same way. I mean, it's it to me, it's the same way with Sean and Brett. Yeah. But for me, I, I don't care. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, at this stage of the game, yes. But I'll yeah. always. Oh, back then? I'll, back then, yeah. I hated it, Corey, because it was like the mega powers all over again for me as a child. <laughs> right. I hate Because I'm the Bret Hart guy. I was a Bret yeah, Hart I, fan. I liked and I was, Bret. And I was becoming was never, a Sean guy. You know what I mean? Because I, I followed the, the, you know, uh, the, I, I love them from tag team with him and Marty Janetti, mm -hmm. the, the, the Rockers, and and I, I, I'm a tag team wrestling. Just, I'm a tag team wrestling mark. So. It's always Sean over Brett for me, and I liked Brett. I did. It was just always it was always you. So for me, like it was, it was Brett was my guy first, and Sean came and took the mantle from him. And that's for me why it was hard to. <laughs> I was always like, man, like a little kid, like I can't. You can, can I have that candy bar? No. Well, can, can, can I have that that lollipop? No. Well, can I have a corner for the gum machine? No, that's how I felt watching these two guys. Like every time I was on the team, it was like, come on, man. Can y'all just be tag team <laughs> champions or something? Like, please don't no, no. Like I needed them not to fight each other. I just I really did. But Lita, I didn't care about, but I had friends that were just crazy. And I this time I'm working at mm -hmm. um some news publication in, in Chad Ford, Pennsylvania, right? So it's like college mm -hmm. central, you know, uh, you know, that demographics right. all all there and it's Mm -hmm. Our desk, we could put up different posters or in, our, in, our, in our little cubicles, whatever. And every man's desk had Lita everywhere. <laughs> White dudes, Asian guys, black guys. It didn't matter. They yeah. saw a girl with red hair and a thong that could do a flip. She was cool. <laughs> she was she was cool. She, and she, probably it, was, yeah. she probably was definitely more cool, cooler than Trish Stratish. You know what yeah, I mean? Oh, absolutely. But Trish was just that. That lit for me. You know what I mean? <laughs> As the kids mm -hmm. say. But so mm -hmm. it's, it's Trish. It's Lita, and I give him other two in a second because I want to ask you outside of the raw match, and we know what raw match we're talking about between Trish and Lita. Give me mm -hmm. one of your other favorite matches. Mickey, this and, Mickey and Trish, WrestleMania 22. I knew he was going to say not that. That wasn't, that wasn't yeah. fair. That wasn't fair. Rosemont that's not even. Rosemont. Yeah, that's not even. That's not even a. That's not even a second thought. <laughs> okay. That's why. I, well, that's why I said, yeah, and, um. Honestly, probably you would probably have to go. Let's see. Um, actually, Mickey and Beth when Mickey ah, won, no mercy. Yeah, when Mickey won it back. But, you know, this one was on Raw. Okay, this one was on Raw because Mickey it, you it came out of nowhere and it was actually a decent match. And Mickey ends up winning it, and you're like, what? what how did that happen? Like, no, Mickey. Mickey is um, Mickey is one. Also, um. The one from SummerSlam, which is actually entertaining, and it actually involved more than one person, um, Beth and Santino against Kofi and... Okay, yes. And, and, I believe and, it was Kofi uh, and Mickey. Uh, or Kofi and Candice. Yeah. Was it Kofi and Mickey or Kofi no, and it was, Candace? It's Mickey. It was Mickey. It was Santino and Beth and Mickey and Kofi. Yeah, that's... Yeah, let me see. Yeah, and it was Mickey title and Kofi. Title for title. It was, yep, it was, it was title yeah, for title. Intercontinental and women's titles were up on the lines, right? Yep. And that actually was an entertaining match to where you were – because Santino was – he doesn't get enough credit. He was firing on all – he was a joke, yeah. but he, like, he I got go. to watch this joke. <laughs> like, no, for me, when I saw Santino, you know, you, you look at guys that come over the, over the barricade or whatever, they, you know, like, mm -hmm. oh, you're, you know, they're, you already know they're marking, their, you know, and I, and I right. saw him and I go, just little things that stick out. Like, I remember being – I became a Batista fan because I went to a house show and Batista and Hogan were on the undercard. Uh, you know, on the house show, and they did a pose down. Mm -hmm. From there, I was a Batista fan. Like, oh man, Batista. When I saw his tattoo, he was a Leo. I said, okay, let me get this guy a little yeah. credit. He got a whole big old lion <laughs> tattoo on his back. I'm, 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 I'm good with that. Let's go. That's what made me pay attention <laughs> to the Santino. But <laughs> Trish and and Lita, mm -hmm. Unforgiven, that same year in 06. Yeah, the, I think the it's retirement very match. Un, I think it's very under the retirement match. match. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that match was memorable. And I think it needs to stand out there. And, and again, I don't think, I think only a few matches from this era to me can compete with what we're going through today with women today. I, I think mm -hmm. women today completely, you know, but it's like, it's like watching, you know, 
Wilt Chamberlain to the transition of Shaquille O'Neal. It's just, it's mm-hmm. just time. It's just science. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like they would, I, I think Chris Brown's the greatest dancer of all time, but there would be no Chris Brown without Michael Jackson. You know what right. I'm saying? Like, where, where would Chris have got it from? Right? So, no yeah. disrespect. Or to Usher. Play. I'm sorry. I'm, oh, I'm giving no. Usher credit, too. Yeah, no, no. <laughs> take, take nothing from Usher until you, see, until you see New Flame. And then you see the difference between the two. <laughs> <laughs> Up until that point, Usher was on the list. But then uh, Chris right. just took it away from him. But um, Fair enough. That, that, that is where I think the difference between today and yesteryear. But back then, with these women, it was just incredible. Because they mm-hmm. put their, their selves on the line. So and you could see it. You can see it in jazz. Yeah, they, you can see they, it in, they had to, man. You can yeah, see it in had Jackie. To. You can see it in Molly mm-hmm. Holly. You're in, like, in what you're saying, they, they had to during this time, Corey. Yeah, because I'll put it this way. In my, much like what you're leading up to right now, they had to go ahead and put literally, you, you know all the talent always puts everything out there for everybody every mm-hmm. night. They literally had to put everything out there because you didn't know if you were going to be written in the next week's show. You <laughs> One, you got to, and that's not even, you know, as funny, but it's not even a joke to them. It's like you have one bad women's match or women's storyline. Yeah. They're not putting them back on TV next week. They're not. Uh-huh. They're putting them for some eye candy, maybe. That's it. Wrestling time. That's, that's what my So they had to make sure. Champion. Yeah, see, that's probably right. So that's why, yeah, you know what? <laughs> to be honest, and I said it earlier that I was oh, on the fourth. But I think I am going to go Trish, Lita, Mickey James. Oh, gosh. Because I, I, it, I, I think you're right. As, as I had to reach, think it, I think it's, it's Beth Phoenix, Mickey James, Trish and, Strat- uh, Trish and Lita. I, I, don't even, I don't even think it's, 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 my go, fan, it's, it's my fandom to add Melina. Because you have a – when you, you, I'm going by runs, and I'm going by yeah. rivalries. And I'm going but see, by, that's what I'm saying, that fourth – do you go Ivory? Do you go Victoria? It's, it's, mean, so, it's so hard. Do you go and, Beth and, Phoenix? And, and, and we haven't that, spoken about Victoria, who's and, 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 and all, with all the respect towards Victoria fans out there, Hall of Famer in my book. Yeah, absolutely. and that's what I'm saying. She might honestly be the fourth. It's on to me. If I had to narrow it down, you say, even though it's <laughs> putting in a fourth, yeah. to down to a fourth, I think you go Beth, Victoria, Ivory, uh, Molly, Holly. Those are the four. If you're going to pick any one of those four to put as a fourth, okay. it's for them. I don't even think there's other – and that's no disrespect to China. No. Or I, I get, so China, or we else. love you. You're bigger than a women's championship, baby girl. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> she, she is. You were truly but, the ninth wonder of the world to us. It yeah, just, like, you know, your, your Candace Michelle's and all of them. Like, yeah. they had runs, but – and yeah. Louis, they, right. you know, they had good runs. Yeah. But I think those four, if you – because, yeah, Trish, Lita, Mickey, that's your three. Three. All rip. You, those you are can, the – You can intercede Beth. You can intercede Victoria. You yep. can intercede Ivory. You can intercede mm-hmm. uh, uh, Molly Holly, Molly like Holly. you said. Like you said. Yeah. And, and, and I'm going to be honest with you. For that early years, after Sable, mm-hmm. I put that fifth. It's got to be Miss Jackie. Yeah. You know what? And, that, and that's the other one. That's the other one. That you, because here's the thing about Jackie. Jackie <laughs> – this is the Jackie hardest one. Have, yeah, because Jackie doesn't have the runs. No. But she has the longevity. To, Jackie is like Natalia mm. to where you're going to be like. Wow, good comparison. You may, not, you may not necessarily think of them as, oh, you're putting them on the Mount Rushmore or anything like that. Right. But you step back and you look at it, the longevity, the trust, because you see clearly they trust Natalia. Yeah. They're, Natalia, Jacqueline, as far as women's wrestlers, yeah, they're probably in that conversation of respect mm-hmm. that has in the men's division. Yeah, they just, they're they they're, they work with so many takers. guys back there too. Yeah, and, that's and, and, the other and, thing. Jackie was working with the guys. Yeah, everybody the, can't do that. <laughs> working with the guys in yeah. TNA, she was working with the guys. Yeah. Like you can't not at, like you ju- you just nailed it. Yeah. Not everybody can do that. Beth can do it too, which is why Beth is on that list of. Yeah, I need your four. We can't have the we can't have the continuation. I need your four. Okay. I need it. I need because I'm afraid to give you mine. So I'm, I'm I'm trying to cheat. No, I'm don't yeah. go first. Okay, okay. <laughs> My four. I'm gonna finalize it. Okay. My four: Trish, Lita, Mickey. Come on, Victoria. I'm going Victoria. <sighs> I gotta give it. 
give it to Victoria. I'm going I the same to. three, but I'm, I'm I'm throwing in Beth Phoenix. Okay, I'm and that's okay. Beth Phoenix. And again, yeah, this is, and this, that's is okay. this is to me the other ones. All of them have been okay. From mm-hmm. episode one through seven, now they've all been okay with your Mount Rush one. You can't really go wrong. You know, you right. really can't. Unless, like I said, mm-hmm. unless you're gonna throw in Lay Cool, <laughs> right? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I would, I, I would, I would say, okay, your list, but you know, just like right. to be a belt king, gotta have five belts, not three, <laughs> not two, not one. You gotta have five belts to be a belt king, okay? So, <laughs> I, I, it's, but on this list, come on, I, I think it's it's such that time. I get going back, looking at all this, Corey. It was just an mm-hmm. amazing time in women's wrestling that I think really goes un talked about because all you hear is Trish and Lita and yeah, yeah they were the coup de gras as they say but mm-hmm. we always say who they dance with they dance with all these girls mm-hmm. <laughs> all these girls were their dance partners in my opinion and with with that Corey anything else want to add uh yeah I'm trying to think just because of uh just because of of, of that lineage with Trish and Lita mm-hmm. and I got it off the top of my head I'm thinking has anybody other than Mickey James been the only one to defeat Trish and Lita for a women's championship? That's a good question. Let's go ahead and look. We'll be good about it here. I don't <laughs> think I don't think that I don't think anybody else has won a women's championship from both of them other than Mickey James, which is why I said Mickey James needs to be on there because I don't think anybody else has. Maybe Molly. I'm looking now. Molly, has, Molly, Molly beat Molly, Trish. And Molly is probably the only one that's probably done it. Molly I'm beat just Trish. Really thinking Trish. off the top of my head. I don't know if Molly has beaten Lita. No, a- she hasn't. And that's what I'm saying. Like, Mickey has beaten both of them. Oh, and I'm sorry. I Can't apologize be- for that list. I'm sorry, Beth Phoenix. I already went through this early in the show. Stephanie McMahon Helmsley is number oh, yeah. four at Mount Rushmore. I don't oh, care. Yeah. It's Stephanie. I love you, Beth. It's Stephanie McMahon Helmsley. That's my Mount okay. Rushmore. Yeah. Stephanie, <laughs> Trish and Lita, and, 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 and Mickey James. There it's is. your list. <laughs> and somebody gonna say, you said I can't put Lay Cool, but you gonna put her? Yes, I did. Because their storyline's better than any of theirs in the history of women in this, in this title division, in my opinion. She has the greatest storyline of all of them. Fair enough. No, but yeah, so, but like I said, that's why I, I think for, for people to have your number one and two, the only person to take championships off of them, I think, is Mickey James. Yeah, I'm looking at it now. I don't see. I see her beating Trish, but that's it. I don't see her beating Lita. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. For, so if those are your one and two, yeah, you know, I think for me. Oh, yeah, no, no, Mickey James only one. Yeah, there you're right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mickey yeah. James only one. <laughs> so you gotta. I think the only one to win championships from them, I think, has to be on there by yeah. default. By default, yeah, because be. she's that dope. That she beat it. it's like Jericho winning the the you know both titles in the same night. Yeah, from Rock and Who cares yeah. about circumstances? He did it. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Sure and, did. And, 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 and he and he he leaned with it and rocked with it, as they say. Also, <laughs> <laughs> but with that being said, guys, we're gonna get about it here this week. Thank you for coming and listening to us here on episode seven of Bell Kings Radio presents Champions, the women's title. From mm-hmm. listen, that belt from 1998 to 2010 was. Beautiful. And I'm, I'm going to go out there and purchase it myself, Corey. Corey, uh, they can find you where, my brother? <laughs> my kicks are my fix. And there it is, guys. With that being said, we're going to get out of here, y'all. Fingers! The champ is here! The champ is here! The champ is here! The champ is here!